Okay, so yes, I'm probably like the last person to get this review out to you guys, but I'm here with it now. I saw this on Thursday, it's now Sunday. I had no time to record it, but I'm here now, so without wasting any more time, let's get on with the review. Kong Skull Island. So Kong Skull Island is a Warner Brothers reboot of King Kong. A reboot existing purely for the reason of introducing King Kong ready for his big epic fight against Godzilla, which I'm incredibly excited for. I mean, why wouldn't you be? It's a big ape fighting a dinosaur. What's not cool about that? The movie stars Tom Hiddleston, Brie Larson, Samuel L. Jackson, John Goodman, John C. Riley, Jing Tian, Corey Hawkins, and Toby Kebbell. And in this movie, when a group of scientists find an uncharted island, which no one has explored before, known as Skull Island, they set up a military escort to go to this island, explore it and find the natural resources there that could help them. In order to map out the island they drop these bombs to use a vibration to create some sort of rough map looking thing. But in doing that they are dropping bombs on someone's home and that someone's home is King Kong and he is pissed. And when King Kong is introduced in this movie it is awesome and it is tons of fun seeing what he does. The scenes that he is in are definitely the most action packed and most entertaining of this entire movie. I mean admittedly you go to this sort of movie purely to see King Kong beat the shit out of some dinosaur type creatures and in that the actual fight scenes and action scenes are really well done. The visual effects look amazing and it is incredibly entertaining seeing a big ass monkey just beat the living shit out of these lizard things. However those are really the main positives for this film because other than the actual action sequence of the Kong moments. This movie is actually pretty boring when it comes to the more character development scenes. I don't feel like that's down to the actors. I feel like the actors all do a good job in the roles they are in. No one really gives a bad performance. They're all talented actors. I really like all of them. But the writing behind the character development just isn't that good. I never felt emotionally invested in these characters. Not in the slightest. In fact, to be honest, I didn't give a shit about any of these characters, which is a shame really because when there are moments where they try and do a big character death like it's supposed to hit us really hard, I simply just didn't care and that's a real shame because they tried a little bit to try and flesh out these characters and you can see them try in a way to develop certain characters more than others but in a movie that purely exists to introduce King Kong into this universe and see him kick ass that's all I really need from this film. Sure it would have been nice to have good characters around that but the characters just aren't that interesting. Like I said the actors all do a good job. Tom Hiddleston's really good in this film as is Samuel L. Jackson but he's just Samuel L. Jackson in this film. The hell, you can't help but love Samuel L. Jackson. The guy's awesome. John Goodman, one of my favourite character actors working today. He's really good in the film. John C. Riley, the person I was most worried about in this film. I saw the trailer and I thought... His comedy isn't really going to work for this film, I don't think. After seeing the film, I really enjoyed him, and a lot of his comedy did actually have a good effect. However, they do try and push other comic moments, and all they do is fall flat and just leave you staring at the screen with a blank face, wondering why the hell did they do that? Also, Brie Larson in this movie. I like the actress. She's one of the most talented female actors working today. But why is she in this film? She did nothing for this film. She made no sense. It made no sense for her character to be there. Every time she appeared on screen, I was just left there thinking... Why are you there? What are you doing? What are you doing to enhance this story? I suppose you could argue she's kind of a love interest of Tom Hiddleston's character, but... I didn't really feel that connection either. Overall guys, I will say I was a little bit disappointed by this film, but it is a very entertaining film when it comes to the Kong action fight scenes. And although the visual effects were good, I wanted a lot more character development. I wanted to care about these characters, especially when they were in peril, because if you don't care about them, when they're in peril and they have risk of dying, then it means nothing. When they've been hunted by giant creatures and one of them could die at any time, I'm left feeling nothing because I wasn't emotionally invested in these characters. But I will say guys, you can have fun with this film if you overlook the whole character development aspect. I mean, I had a lot of fun with it. I went to see it with Jake and Danielle, two good friends of mine, and they really enjoyed it as well. And yeah, I will probably buy this movie on Blu-ray because it was an entertaining film when Kong was throwing down with the lizard things. And so for all of that, I'm going to give Kong Skull Island three stars. So, Kong Skull Island, have you guys seen it yet? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends, and if you want to see more videos just like this one, then subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks again for watching, you guys are awesome, and I will see you all in the next video.